All right, hello guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about a major, major blizzard, winter storm, Aubrey, for the northwest, north central, and a lot of those Rockies regions of the United States. But before we get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Also, I'm going to pin the com uh, comment, which is going to be our Instagram page, and if you do take photos or videos, please post them to Instagram and tag us so we can make sure to share those at the end of the week. I always love seeing you guys' photos and videos. Now, we're looking at our warnings, watches, and advisories. I wanted to mention also that we will have a snowfall forecast at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that because that's going to be our official snowfall forecast for Winter Storm Aubrey. Right now, you can see that we have some Winter Storm advisories, how I always... They're kind of similar to the Winter Storm watches in color, so they're hard to see, but the Winter Storm advisories are... A, or Winter Weather advisories, that is, are a little more purplish pink, and then the winter storm watches are kind of more of a navy blue. And then obviously we have our winter storm warnings, which is a lot of those lighter pink colors. The darker pink is red flag warnings for a lot of the regions in Colorado, Utah, Arizona, California, Nevada. But for Wyoming, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Montana, we have a lot of winter storm warnings up right now. Just wanted to show you our warnings and watches. Again, that's brought to you by Pivotal, Bo Pivotal Weather, great website. You guys can go check it out. We're going to be looking at our Canadian model as kind of our like future radar thing here. You can see blue is snow, you know, greens, yellows, reds is obviously rain. So we're going to start out. This is this afternoon and evening, October 8th, Tuesday. You can see we do have some snow entering the states of Washington and Montana. Uh, we're going to move on to morning time tomorrow, and you can see Idaho, Montana. You're already getting a lot of that moderate snowfall going on for a lot of you there, especially in between those two states and some of those mountain ranges. Very, very moderate to heavy snow going on for a lot of those regions. Also, lots of cold air behind it. We'll talk a little bit more about the cold air in a second as well. Uh, you can see this is by late evening tomorrow, so late evening Wednesday the 10th, or Wednesday the 9th, sorry. We have moderate to light to moderate snow throughout Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, North Dakota, and South Dakota, becoming a little bit more widespread as we head towards Thursday. This is Thursday morning, and we have very heavy snow going on from Colorado up through ne uh, Nebraska, Wyoming, the Dakotas. Lots of heavy snow. The darker blues are obviously indicating the heavier rates of snowfall. And again, lots of cold behind that. Expect cold. You can see our low pressure system dug down into the Rockies, and now it's going to curve back up. And that's why we're going to see so much time of snowfall here because it's going to do this whole curve around, uh, which is going to keep the low pressure system in the area much, much longer. We're going to move on to Thursday late evening, and you can see there's light to moderate snow for the Dakotas, Nebraska, Colorado. All of these regions are receiving, again, light to moderate snowfall. And then by Friday morning, you can see our low pressure system is located in north central Minnesota, and it is doing a little bit of a curve back west. And what this is going to do is just prolong that low pressure system once again even longer in the area, keeping it around even longer. We look for turns to indicate, again, that low pressure system sticking around. And this is what we see in a lot of blizzards, including our blizzard that we had for Montana and surrounding regions a few weeks ago. So this is kind of just another huge one here that we're having. Very exciting stuff going on these last few weeks for you guys out west and in the central United States. You can see by the time we're at Friday morning, South Dakota, North Dakota, and Minnesota are getting the brunt of it by this point. We're going to move on to that evening, later that evening, Friday evening. That's Friday, October the 12th. And you can see some of that moderate to heavy snow is curving back into North Dakota. You can expect the wind to be uh, actually coming from the north by this point and bringing snow from Canada back down into the United States, curving around. If you're in Minnesota, the precipitation is going to be coming from your west though uh, so we see this is just kind of the dynamics with that low pressure system again curving back west is adding a lot of more complexity to it but we do see moderate to heavy snow coming from our Canadian border to the north for North Dakota so North Dakota you can tell has been getting snowfall the longest we're gonna head towards uh, Saturday morning here and you can see we're still receiving moderate snowfall here for North Dakota and Minnesota by this point because our low pressure system has stalled out and is intensifying over Minnesota uh, and then by Saturday evening, you can see there's still snow in the area for the Dakotas and Minnesota. 
Um, and then by Sunday morning, we just have snow showers all around, but kind of weakened by this point. But from Montana through the Dakotas, through Minnesota and into Wisconsin, we have snow showers all over the place right now. Uh, and here's your snowfall totals. Uh, according to the Canadian model, and don't be surprised by these giant amounts, especially for North Dakota there. this You saw how long it's going to be there. Days and days and days of moderate to heavy snow is going to lead to you know feet of snow. For the Dakotas especially, Montana and Wyoming and Colorado aren't going to get left out either though. But Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, and Minnesota look to get the, the worst of it as they're going to get the longest times of snow and even the heaviest potentially but in those darker shades of gray up there in North Dakota and Canada we see 24 inches plus so that's kind of our two feet and above region obviously and speaking of that cold air here's our temperature anomalies map and you can see right behind it we have frigid air coming into the United States just all over the place with the exception of maybe the immediate east coast we have far below average temperatures for the entire United States. So very, very intense temperature stuff going on here. Now here's your GFS total snowfall. Uh, I wanted to mention that the snowfall, the heaviest of the snowfall is actually a little bit further east on the GFS. So that is something we're going to have to watch. It's either going to be right now, the models are keying in on it being somewhere in between central North Dakota and the very Western regions of Minnesota. It should set up somewhere in those regions. That should be our two feet plus region for the snowfall. Now we're going to get into my snowfall forecast and snowfall accumulation forecast. So we're starting off with obviously nothing on the screen here. So let's add our first layer. This is how I'm going to be doing it all winter, by the way, guys. So we're starting out with our under one inch to three inches of snow region. So this is, you're getting bare minimum amounts of snow, but all of these white regions should receive snow with the exception of a few scattered regions on the maybe uh, edges of this white region, but one to three inches or a uh, dusting to three inches for all of these white regions. So obviously from the Pacific Northwest down through into the Southern Rockies and some of those great plains regions of the United States, and then back up into the North central United States. Let's add our second layer, three to six inches here in this light blue region. You can see some of those mountain ranges out there in the Pacific Northwest are going to be receiving three to six inches of snow, as well as the Northern Rockies, and then back down into the Southern Rockies as well. The Southern Rockies, it's not as widespread, but some of those Northern Colorado mountains, as well as some of the mountains in Southern Wyoming will be receiving three to six inches of snow at least. And then back through the Dakotas, Nebraska, Minnesota, all of these, all of these regions, again, are going to be receiving three to six inches of snow from Winter Storm Aubrey. Let's add our third layer here, and you can see six to ten inches of snow. We do have some of those mountains in the Pacific Northwest, isolated regions of Oregon and Washington receiving six inches plus here. Uh, so one of them is in Washington and one of them is in the very eastern regions of Oregon. So those will be pretty minor and they will be, you know, only exclusive for mountaintops. Now, the northern Rockies, so Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, these regions, we have a pretty widespread area of 6 to 10 inches for these regions. And this is where we're starting to get heavy, you know, 6 to 10 inches. That's when it's starting to become a big nuisance uh, probably not for you guys. You guys are probably pretty used to it, but this is what I would consider going on major as far as a winter storm is concerned. So if you're over six inches, that's when we're talking a pretty notable event here. You can see Wyoming up through Nebraska into the Dakotas as well. And a little bit of that northwestern corner of Minnesota are all receiving six to 10 inches as well. And a few mountaintops in Colorado as well. Now, our fourth layer here is our 10 to 15 inch region. You can see some of those northern Rockies for Idaho and Montana and Wyoming are going to be receiving 10 to 15 inches of snow. I wouldn't say necessarily only mountaintops, but some of those higher elevation regions look to be the areas that would be most likely to get 10 inches plus for those northern Rocky regions. And you can see the north central United States, obviously, Nebraska up through the Dakotas. We have a pretty widespread area of 10 to 15 inches of snow. Again, this could set up a little bit more west than this or a little bit more east than this, but this is what I'm currently thinking is the most likely outcome with this one. Let's add our fifth layer, and this is going to be our 15 to 20 inch region. A lot of those mountaintops now in the northern Rockies are going to be receiving this, so most likely not a lot of people live where we will see 15 inches plus in the northern Rockies, 
But if you are on some of those very, very high elevation regions there in Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming, you might end up getting 15 inches plus for a lot of those regions. Now, some of those mountains down there for Wyoming and the very western regions of South Dakota and Nebraska might be receiving 15 to 20 inches of snow, but we do have a very widespread area of 15 to 20 inches of snow, that big purple region for the central and the central regions of North Dakota and the north central regions of South Dakota there. We're expecting 15 to 20 inches of snow to be pretty widespread for those regions. Then we have our, I'm losing count here, this is our sixth layer, 20 to 30 inches of snow there, exclusive for North Dakota for the most part. A lot of the north, or a lot of the central regions there are going to get pretty widespread, 20 inches plus. And let's add our final layer, 30 inches plus, I think is going to be, I wouldn't say widespread, probably the real thing will end up being smaller than this, but I think it will set up somewhere within that red shade where we're going to have a pretty big area of 30 inches of snow plus, um, but you know, how much further above 30 inches we get, you know, that's hard to say, but I think we're going to get 30 inches plus for some regions in North Dakota. Anyway, guys, stay safe out there during this major blizzard that we're going to be having major blizzard. Aubrey, once again, please make sure to send us those pictures or tag us in those pictures on Instagram. I love seeing those, especially with giant snowstorms like this. I'm counting on you guys to send me some photos and videos uh, and tag us on the Instagram. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.